If you're looking for a supplier for your product idea, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to show you with an example how to find suppliers for your product idea. So the example I'm using in today's video is a food product and grocery is actually one of my favorite niches that I think has so much potential on Amazon and it solves so many issues that, uh, you know, new um, brand owners, new sellers on Amazon are facing. You can create such a unique brand so easily. You can source locally and you can actually achieve pretty low cost prices uh, and MOQs within, you know, sourcing locally. So, so it solves so many problems that I'm so excited to share this with you. This video is so packed full of value. Make sure you guys watch it till the end. So let's get into it. If you've been struggling to launch your Amazon business or struggling to find a product or choosing one product, I have a free 45 minute training detailing my method of selling on Amazon. It doesn't matter what your product idea is. My method of selling on Amazon has been working for over 15 years and I'm still here. So definitely check that link in description below and watch the full training. It's packed full of value. I hope you like it. Remember to like, follow and subscribe for more actionable steps on Amazon FBA and building your private label with real sellers. If you've just discovered this channel through this video, hello, my name is Farah. Welcome to my channel. I've been selling on Amazon and run my private label fashion business on Amazon for the past 15 years as a seller and vendor. And I want to help you build your dream business on Amazon on your terms. And so that's what today's video is about. We are uh, talking about how to find a supplier for your product idea, specifically if it's a food product idea. Um, you know, it's not unsolvable. It's, it's you know, not beyond you. You can do this and there are actually really good manufacturers locally available, which, you know, will, is going to blow your mind. So let's get into it. Uh, let's get into today's topic. So with the food niche on Amazon, it basically uh, sits in the grocery section. And I know that it is a gated category, but that also solves the problem of having a lot of, uh, you know, co competition from Chinese sellers or um, you know, non-serious sellers or hijackers and things like this. Um, and also it's for, if it's gated, you have a higher chance of more profitability because not everyone can sell in that category. So it does present some challenges, but there are solutions to challenges and problems. And so today we're not talking about how to find the product and whatever. Watch this video for food product research. We're going to be looking at how to find suppliers and especially private label formulations for your product idea. It could be um, a protein bar. It could be um, protein powder, you know, um, anything like this. Basically, it would be sold under the grocery section and um, uh, health and personal. You know, these are the two product niches on Amazon where the, this kind of product can be sold under. So one of the I, I think overall there's like four ways that you can um, actually look for a supplier. So I'm going to go through them uh, one by one. I'm going to take you to my screen, and actually show you in action. Guys, let's begin with a simple Google search. So I ran this search for US snack manufacturers. So wherever you're based, this would be, I think, the the easiest way to just start and looking for suppliers. So um, I looked up a couple of these links that were coming up. So as you can see, this snack manufacturer protein rich snack ingredients. So you can just right click and open this and contact the manufacturers directly. Depending on what your idea is, you will um, come across different exhibitors so the term I used here was just snacks so that's why you're seeing um, uh, bakery ingredients proteins it, it, you just kind of need to know like what you're looking for and then use those um, you know keywords in your search so at the moment I just typed in US snack manufacturers and that's what's coming up you can also look at um, 
what kind of if they have like a product catalog on their website so let's just click on bars uh, thinking around protein bars and see like if they have a downloadable catalog or something that we can um, study and look through and so that's just one of the ways it doesn't uh, mention private label in any of their content so I'm gonna go and select the next one and this is called auxiliary food okay so different different um, different kind of products contact them with your specific idea um, anyway let's um, let's run a different search so this search this time I ran protein bar manufacturers in the UK okay and from here I got slightly bit more um, you know focused results people or companies who actually deal with uh, manufacturing protein bars and it's not snack it's a bit more um, uh, targeted so here like one of the top results if we just open that so guys again this uh, supplier is based in uh, you can find it pretty quickly so if you just click on um, or actually it might be at the bottom yeah so they are based in Blackpool UK um, but if you look at their products this is a pretty like corporate kind of website these are the products that they can produce so what you're gonna have to do is get in touch with them and ask for a either a catalog of products and ask them if they do private label and um, give your details about your product idea to them and find out um, you know if you can arrange a phone cons consultation or a visit or something like this and that's how you will go from there uh, because uh, once you know like if they do handle um, you know private label then they would know what you're uh, on about and what you need exactly from them but definitely you know um, using Google to research suppliers like um, I also run a search white label protein bars and then you see even more different suppliers so protein bar uh, protein world opal bond you can open their website and check to um, food connections and basically you're gonna have to get in touch with the suppliers and actually find out from them like whether they do um, a private label or uh, you know how can they help get your product to the market or do they have a uh, you know formulations are all already uh, uh, are certified and they have certification so these are the questions you want to ask and you know get in touch with them and these are all like UK based suppliers like you can see this opal wand they have like uh, they have like a you know a formula already and they can provide different flavors like toppings white chocolate or normal chocolate vegan protein bars so flexible MOQs our private label protein bars are made in a host of different factories so you can read more there's a lot more information here some websites are a lot more corporate than the others so you know this seems like a decent supplier you can find out where they're based about us Opal where are you based guys so they are in camps Huntington so they have an address you can get in touch arrange a visit if it comes down to it but I think through email you would be able to find quite a bit of information and maybe even get like uh, some samples from them ask for free samples and see like if you like the formulations that they have and would they help you with the private label and this will also actually help you get approved with Amazon so guys I I just quickly typed in this selling protein bars on Amazon FBA and Google and guess what the first result is it's a I found a supplier called Ubar and they have um, 
quite a bit of detail available at private label store brands, Amazon Fulfillment. They definitely are aware of this uh, sector and they, uh, the from just from like, you know, the website, like you can try samples uh, of their different private label uh, formulations. Look, they have baking mixes, nut butter filled bars and bites, cookies, cookie dough, you, you name it. There's, there's, there's quite a few different types of products going on. And so if you get in touch with these guys, you would be able to, um, you know, get a lot more information specifically to actually selling your product idea on Amazon. And, um, you know, so um, definitely very um, good supplier that I just found from Google. Just just a simple search. So that's how you can uh, use Google to actually find suppliers uh, for your food manufacturing idea and, um, you know, take it from there, find prices and, you know, especially certifications that you're going to need to actually get your idea out there and be able to actually um, sell and make it available for sale on Amazon. <music> The second method is actually visiting exhibitions, food exhibitions, and you will again, you can actually use Google to find these in your local area. So I just searched food exhibitions UK in 2024. You can do the same thing for um, US and see a list of food exhibitors, uh, Southern Exposure Produce and Food Automation Manufacturing Conference Expo and just find like what's going to be nearer to you wherever you're ba based in the US and um, you will be able to find exhibitors there so this is a, a very simple way of you know actually trying samples um, and you know getting in touch with suppliers speaking in person in, and visiting them in one place rather than um, you know just doing it over emails and stuff like that and um so in the uk like um so in the uk like you have this ife manufacturing which is food and drink um egg, uh, manufacturers and you can on their website like you can actually see an exhibitors list which will tell you like all the manufacturers are attending and you know um you can then visit their websites ahead make a list of the people you want to actually get in touch with and see and you know where they are you can plan your visit from here another food exhibition that I personally visited as well was food and drink expo and this is actually pretty great like you get to ha try so many free food samples and you can see different brands um, it's actually a really good idea to um, even explore food product ideas if you don't know and within this food and drink expo you have different shows that are happening and again it's it's one of the best ways to actually uh, try a product see how they are um, doing talk to different brand owners and actually gather contacts um, so um, exhibitions are a great way to actually experience the food idea, especially private label food idea, the um, the formulations and ask about certifications and uh, also ask about, you know, if they have experience with providing for an Amazon FBA brand. Um, definitely, you know, worth exploring. Just wanted to jump in here really quick and find out like how you guys liking this video. If you're if this is resonating with you and enjoying the information, hit the like button so I know. And let me know in the comments below like which food product idea you're thinking about and you want to pursue and build on further. And get in touch by email um, at hello at farafines.com. I would love to help you. <laughs>
you might not actually find the exact uh, product because again this is a, a a just a database that you're searching you will again then need to get in touch with the supply so if, for example I typed in here protein um, now if I type in protein bar it will it will say no results found but if you just leave it at proteins and just see what comes up okay you will get a couple of different results so there is uh, powders there is um, online catalog of different um, versions of proteins that are available so um, depending what kind of a product idea you have you will then get in touch with them so let me just let's say we go with this um, supplier and this is in California base supplier you will you can request information, you can contact the supplier, visit their you know website, call the supplier. Again, this is a bit more focused than Google. Like check their certifications. Uh you have to register to see that. Okay. So again, on a on a surface level to find contacts to actually uh, explore further about your private label idea you can use this website thomasnet.com uh, and it's it's uh, it, it will help you find suppliers in the US I think this is mainly for the US so um, this is the third method that you can use <music>
you can get it pretty easily from these guys so depending on what your product idea is and try to get a gauge of the price uh, to start off with I would uh, not actually go for a Chinese supplier because um, if you look at this product so it says 70 cents for over 10,000 pieces okay 70 cents for 10,000 pieces and uh, that's a lot of money <laughs> for a uh, for uh, any startup to invest in one product idea so the purpose of using Alibaba is mainly just to get an idea about pricing and then you know using that as a benchmark to compare to anybody you find in the UK or the US um, you know as suppliers here and seeing like okay what is the benefit what am I paying extra for and what is there that I can't get from there or from from the UK and what am I getting from Alibaba and compare because um, you know this is the long-term preparation for your brand so um, yeah that's uh, that's the few different methods of uh, looking for a supplier and doing your research when you're looking for uh, creating a product in the grocery uh, niche for Amazon. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you found a value in it and you learned something. Uh, definitely check out my channel. There's more videos about Amazon FBA, selling on Amazon and my method of selling, advertising, all the good stuff that's related to this whole Amazon ecosystem. Uh, I hope you will find more information and uh, value that you're looking for. But that's all from me today. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.